All right, guys, tis the season for making money. I mean ornaments. We're making ornaments. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be making these um, totally customizable. Little guys move around in there. Really cool. Hot commodity on Facebook and Etsy. Everybody's looking for these right now. Uh, super easy to make. Pretty cheap to make. Uh, we'll go through to the design process in Lightburn, how to put them together, all the goodness. So let's go crush it. So we're going to get the circle of the snow globe, uh, I think for the size that I'm doing, three and a half inch circle, it seems about right. Then we're going to make the base, um, and I'm basing this off of this picture that I saw on Facebook, uh, I'll post it somewhere on here, uh, so you can see what I'm basing this design off of. Now for the top and the bottom rectangles, um, the base of this slow, snow globe actually looks kind of like a mantle on a uh, fireplace. I think that's kind of the look that they were going for. Uh, so we'll duplicate that. You can hit on a uh, Windows machine, Control D, we'll duplicate. Just trying to make the base of the mantle a little bit bigger, a little more substantial. I think it gives it a little better look. I wanted more window right here that we're looking at, more window into the, the globe itself. So lowering the mantle down further and then making it a bit smaller so it's not the main focal point. Obviously we're gonna have the name on there, but um, you want the globe and all the sparklies and all that stuff to be uh, more prevalent. Now I'm joining these pieces together to make the actual mantle itself. Hey, it's Brian from the editing room. Um, I'm being kind of weird in some of this, so uh, I cut a lot of it out. Anyway, uh, you might see some weird jumps. It's just how it goes. Said I wanted offset. Nope. I duplicated instead. And here's uh, the importance of duplication. If you get to a point when you're designing something and you don't know exactly what to do or how to do it, duplicate what you have, put it off to the side, and that's a really good starting point going into uh, you know, making something. You can make a bunch of mistakes and you'll still have that initial design that you made. So I wanted that ring to be about an eighth of an inch. There you go. Offset the mantle outwards, offset the ring inwards. And this will allow you to subtract the outside and still have that mantle sitting in there. A lot of this has to do with the way that you select what, what parts you're selecting to try and subtract top or bottom from. Um, if there was a really easy way to know which way to do this, yeah, sometimes you gotta get one piece before you get the other, select one piece before the other, and then do your Boolean subtract. Um, and we just saw how that worked out there. So I got the top part, the window. I spent about 20 minutes rambling and screwing around there. You can thank me later. Now we're gonna do a bigger offset, which already has rounded corners on the outside. Thinking about it, you just saw it. You just saw it outward. There you go. Look at that. Already has the uh, the rounded corners on the outside, so you don't have to do anything with that. Um, you can just subtract the insides of those two pieces now, and now you have your window on the top. You also have your mantle outline on the bottom. Need some added detail or definition in here, we'll use the, uh, the pencil tool or the draw the line tool. Whoop. 
get it back there. Now to get out of that, uh, you would right click. So you would click it into place and then right click so that you leave that line where it is. Do the same here, click, click. Well, I hit delete or something. Um, you click on the start, le left click on the start, left click on the end, and then right click to get out and leave that line there. You also wanna make sure that your lines are centered to your project. Could have also duplicated the line instead of drawing out two separate lines, which could be two different size sh or lengths, which I'm sure these are. You could have just duplicated that top line once you made it and then moved it down. But here I'm uh, trying to center the line in the top portion of the mantle um, using the arrow keys. If you hold down uh, control, it'll go slower. If you go hold down shift, it'll be a larger increment. Uh, excuse me, control and shift at the same time, you're gonna move like very, very small amounts each time. So on the globe that uh, I'm modeling this after, they have a square on the top that has the, the year in it. So just make a rectangle. Um, honestly, the shape, size doesn't matter. I mean, this is your preference. Um, but I want to make sure that that rectangle is centered on the project. <clears throat> and then utilizing the arrow keys again, I'm going, well, I just hit shift, then I hit control, then I hit control shift for that very fine movement, moved it down to where it's just the edges are just touching the top of that circle. Hold down shift, and I'm going to subtract the bottom or the intersecting part of that those two, uh, the circle and uh, the rectangle in order to make those one piece. And now we need the circle on the top for the, um, to hold the hanging piece, whether that's a hook or I'm gonna use string. Um, uh, so I'm gonna utilize an offset. I finally said, screw it. I'll just do whatever size in here and then actually make the size of the hole, the size that I want it. <clears throat> and an issue that I've been having is the, um, the string that I want to use is really thick and I want to put two pieces through that hole. So just trying to think of how thick it would need to be to, to have two, two of those go through the hole. Kid friendly here. Uh, <laughs> Um, now just moving it up so that the inner circle doesn't take away from that square or from the date rectangle and now I'm going to subtract the outside circle from the rest of the ornament uh, so that it's all one piece but I still have that circle going through there and put the date on Brussels that looks nice. And the name. All right, there you have it. This is the top plate. Duplicate the outside. Um, there's a mistake in here based on how this ornament should be going together. Do you know what the mistake is? I'll fast forward, but I'll show you what I did, but that centerpiece. Let me snag your ear for a second. If you are not utilizing Amazon business for your small business right now, you're missing out on discounts. Um, what Amazon will charge uh, for a regular Amazon customer, the Amazon business will get a discount. You're not saving millions by any means, but you're saving money and every penny counts, in my opinion, when you're running a small business. Free to sign up, uh, it's free to use. If you want to buy Amazon Business Prime, you can, but you don't have to, uh, to get the benefits. So uh, check out the link in the description. I utilize it all the time for all my supplies, boxes, paint, glue, you name it. I get it there because it's cheaper. Anyway, thanks. All right, so the outside piece is grouped, put off to the side. Don't need to cut those out anymore. Now we're going to work on the spacer and we're going to work on the top portion and we're also going to work on the 
characters that go inside of this. All right, we now have parts and pieces that we're gonna put in this uh, snow globe here. So doggies and snowflakes. Control D to duplicate. I wanted to see what it would look like. And this is, so this right here is where I had the epiphany <laughs> that I was doing things incorrectly. Um, I'm like, wow, that dad looks like crap. Wow. The name on the mantle looks like crap. How can I fix that? Well, just do an outline. Uh, the same way that I'm doing the dog paws, just outline the outside of the shape or the, the actual line. So you would do it as a cut, but it's going to be less power and faster. And um, looks like on mine, I don't use air. You could use air. Um, you'll see in the cutting process, there was some fire going on. It, it wasn't catching fire, but um, it's just burning. You're burning the stuff. So play around with it. Obviously, I didn't get any of my settings right when I was cutting this out because typically when you do a line, you shouldn't have fire like that coming out. Um, but... Now I'm just screwing around with the sides. I'm like, oh, the parent should be bigger and the kid should be smaller. Makes sense. Seeing how I'm not doing names. So, trying to get that right. Get the size you like, duplicate it. Works like a charm. Also here, I'm trying to figure out my spacing from the outside and the inside because all this stuff is going to get cut out so i want to make sure that i'm not too close to the edge i'm not too close to any other part and there you go looks good to me um rearrange my cuts I want the outlines to be done first and then the actual cutting out of the things done second. Gonna do the engraving first because I use an offset um, in order to get a uh, better fill and then go through and uh, do the lines and do the uh, cutting out and put it all together, man. So all you got to do is put it all together, man. All right, peace. All right, using this whiteboard, uh, you get a lot of soot on it when you uh, cut it. Easiest way to clean this up is using a window cleaner of some sort, Windex or whatnot. Don't spray it directly on the whiteboard, though, because it will start to absorb into the pores and then ruin the piece that you're working on.
that's not even holding it that tight. So I was using this for a different project, but uh, 80 or 150 uh, for the backs typically work the best. Uh, 220 on the back, it's just going to take so much time. Um, doesn't really need to be pretty, just needs to get the job done there. And really, we're not going for super thin by any means. It's just enough to get it to where the thickness is less than that spacer that's in there. Do a little glitter on the inside, make it all pretty. Uh, blow off the, uh, the characters that you're putting in there too with an air compressor or something. And set them in the center. When you glue everything, uh, there's uh, potential for seepage on the outside. Uh, and glue your pieces to the side of the project. So put them in the center, let it dry. Thanks for watching.